time to think about another big responsibility that the folks in this room care about, which is the commerce experience. Buying products, selling products, adding to cart, all those fun things. Now, I don't know about you, I buy a lot of my clothes online. The trouble is, you never quite know how like, the color is going to look on you. Is it your color? And so what we have is we have Dej Mejia who, and her team who have been working on Project True Colors. It applies artificial intelligence to ensure shoppers are just a little happier with their purchases. I think that's a good idea. Hi, Tig. Hi. Finally. <laughs> so, Tig, what is your favorite color of clothing to wear? Um, blue. Can I choose a few? You can. Thank you. Uh, blue, uh, green, red. Awesome. Lots of great options there. Thank you. <laughs> Lots of us have colors that we enjoy wearing and maybe some colors that we avoid entirely. Project True Colors uses AI to analyze your personal coloring and the colors that are going to work best for you across the color spectrum. Let's check it out. Yeah. Yeah. So let's say I am on an Adobe Commerce merchant site and I want to browse this new collection of products. So I'll click to shop now, and I see there are 65 products in this collection. And I also see a filter for personal colors. And this is really interesting, because usually having your personal colors assessed can be a costly service. It can involve time with a professional who may or may not be familiar with how to assess different skin tones. So I'm going to click to discover this, and it looks like we can get a report of personal colors with just one photo. Tig, I would like to invite you up to have your colors assessed. Up to you? That's right. <clears throat> All right. If right, you please. Tig. Yeah. I'm heading over here. OK. Oh, oh boy. I'm, yeah, no kidding. I'm going This color to... looks really good on you, by the way. Thank you so much. I feel like you maybe used your own product. I, that, is, that is highly likely. So I'm going to go ahead and, well, it looks like something is maybe not connected here. Oh. <laughs> I didn't do this. But Tig, actually, if you could get down here and Woo! we could go ahead and connect, click to, thank you so much, Tig. <laughs> what do you think of this picture? I think it really captures you. Yeah, well, it did capture yeah, me. It's sure yeah. did. OK, fantastic. So thank you so much. I'm going to invite you to rejoin Eric. Oh, you don't want me to stay here well, anymore? We're going to analyze it. But you might want to be sitting down for this. OK. Yeah. Come on back. I won't okay. take it personally. Thank you. So she now we're going to click to analyze Tig's colors. Yeah. Give it a few moments. This is Hopefully. Come on. And there we are. Tig, yeah. you are in the cool summer color class. It's one of 12 color classes, and we have some details about this analysis regarding your skin tone being cool to neutral. We also have some do's and don'ts when it comes to colors, and we also have some of the data that contributed to this calculation, like your undertone, the contrast between your hair and your skin, and Best of all, we have the colors that are recommended for this color class based on decades of color theory research. Tig, what do you think about these colors? I love them. <laughs> Wonderful. I, I love colors. <laughs> I love these for you. I um, love you. <laughs> <laughs> Ditto. And so we have some greens, as you mentioned. We've got some blues. And these are the shades that are going to make you really Pop. Make me pop, yeah. Absolutely. So, take you could print these colors out and have them handy while you're shopping, but it's so much better if you just shop your colors right now in this commerce experience. Let's give it a shot. Are you paying? <laughs> let's, let's talk about it later. <laughs> OK. So we've got 15 results now for this collection of products down from 60 plus products. So these are the products that are going to work best for your coloring. But Tig, let's say that you and I wanted to go on a charity walk together, and we both wanted to wear something that looked good on the both of us. Yeah. Why not? 
I don't see why not. Yeah, so let's go ahead and click to add my personal color, which I know is a deep autumn. And let's see, we're down to nine products that are going to suit both of our personal coloring. So we could do that good for charity while looking our best. I love what you're doing here. <laughs> So we've just seen how this experience manifests on the shopper side. It's personal, it's highly personalized, um, and it's also inclusive. It works for all different skin colorings. Now let's look at the Adobe Commerce backend. So I'm in the process of adding a product to my Adobe Commerce storefront, and I'm going to click to add a product image. I'm going to add this jacket here and extract colors and open it. So let's let that process. And done. Let's scroll down to have a look. These are the two products that are added. And you can see the colors have been extracted for this jacket. So it's 99% green and 1% because of these drawstrings white. And now this product is ready to be matched up with the respective color uh, groupings that it's going to suit. We can also view our commerce dashboard, uh, our commerce color assortment, and get some more information about how we're doing and the colors we're carrying. So we've got the products that have been analyzed. We can analyze more products. We can enhance color data. We can also see that there are two color classes that need some more products to make sure that we've got a robust catalog of products for all of our color classes. And at the bottom, we have some opportunities depending on the category of products. There are some underserved color classes, and if you start carrying products for these classes, you have a prediction to reduce abandonment, for some to increase conversion, and overall, this experience really reduces the likelihood of return products, because shoppers are buying colors that are going to work really well for their coloring. What do you think about that? I love this so much. That's awesome! Yeah. And I hope you love it too. <laughs> if you love this sneak, tweet with hashtag Project True Colors and let's get it in the product. Awesome.